Good morning, everybody. Got a really nice AMG Benz in front of us. We're going to get on the expressway here shortly. And uh, we'll be on it for a little bit as we make our way into Ebisu. It's a wonderful day today. As always, your fine weathered friend, PBG here. Ooh, that's a nice band. We'll be passing him shortly. If Agent Orange has anything to say in the matter. And I'm pretty sure she does. I'm not quite sure how... Hey guys, welcome. Well, we're on the expressway, I won't be able to check our chat, so keep that in mind. But I'm curious how well this 5G holds up when we're riding 5Gs in the curves. a little bit of a hybrid ride in today rather than staying on the expressway the whole way I'll get off a little early so you guys can get a little bit of an urban experience Let's see. this is truck time there's a lot of truckers that head into the tunnel the Yamate tunnel which I often use when I go to Shibuya video several days ago. By the way, we're almost at 550,000 views in 12 days. Not too shabby. It's 13 days maybe. I think I released it on a Friday maybe? Yeah, almost two weeks. Um, so that's doing very well. Thank you for watching it. If you haven't, check it out on my channel, 2023 Tokyo Motorcycle Show. Um, but yeah, some guy commented, your, the opening of your video is uh, indicative of the selfish, reckless person that you are. Speeding, cutting through traffic. I was like, okay, Grandpa. For starters, I sped up the video 4x. Let me lay that out for you. That's four times of the normal speed, so that, that threw him off his rocker to start with. And splitting lanes is not illegal here, okay? So the next time Grandpa Snazzy wants to get smart with me, do your homework first. I'm a very safe rider, actually. I rarely speed. I like the little bursts of as we all do, when you've got the bike that can handle it, that can provide that speed. Yeah. But I am probably the safest rider of anyone I know, other than not wearing a lot of protective gear. I don't ride fast and I always
I even took it easy when I was on the school bus circuit track. I was afraid to go fast. So people are like, dude, you're on a track, open that thing up. And this triple has a lot of ponies. So, uh, yeah. But it's more about just not being comfortable riding at high speeds and, and, and in turns and curves. I think it's really beneficial to take uh, rider safety classes, which I I haven't done. And traffic as well. So if you're just joining, we are on the uh, expressway, the Gogo, they call it, number five. And we're heading uh, towards Ebisu. We'll be on the elevated expressway, which always kind of freaks me out when I think about it. But down below us here is the rest of uh, civilization in Tokyo. I just noticed over here on the right a really cool church. And actually, I saw it in a documentary, and I was wondering where that was. Um, Maybe somebody could look it up if you're interested. It's a it's a Catholic church, and the form of it is a crucifix. Um, it's kind of a state-of-the-art building, lots of aluminum. It might be over in old local Gucci area. We just passed it on the right. Over here to our left is uh, coming up, actually straight, straight ahead now is the uh, Imperial Palace grounds. Kokyo is the Japanese name. The Emperor and Empress, their family, live in large. Oh, 
and shout out and sayonara to our friends Linda and Dawn who've been here for a few weeks. Like a rambunctious teenager. This place was hopping just a few weeks back for the uh, cherry blossoms. This is Chidori Gapaji is one of the most popular spots in Tokyo for the cherry blossoms. Even past the season, it's a, it's a cool place to go. You can get a rented little rowboat. Those are the kind of tourist things I would do if I was coming here. You can buy a bento, rent one of those rowboats for uh, an hour or something and just chill out. Here's this Kasumi Gaseki. This is where the Prime Minister lives. We'll be riding past his house. You guys having fun so far? Everything okay? Sound? here on the right. Guys working on the lawn here are not actually spies. You can so easily do that. Rent like a utility vehicle, get the clothes, come out here, pretend that you're cut the lawn. Meanwhile, you're recording all of the activity going on around the Prime Minister's office. Don't anybody steal that idea, right? This could be the, uh, the main thread for my next thriller. Really yeah, behind that tall wall there on the right, I you can see it. That's the uh, Imperial, or the Emperor's, not the Prime Minister's. <laughs> Uh, Suga, who was, and then now Kishida. Suga was only in for, I think it was there a year. So 
So this is Rapongi one trip at Simon and Martina years ago, and still it's got millions of views. Um, they, I don't know, if they, they knew somebody when they first moved here, and, and they, were, they were able to secure uh, filming there and, and, and were able to eat there. But you have to have, you have to be introduced or um, you have to have been there before. So when you, when you finish eating, you make a reservation for the next visit, which is typically months away. Uh, so I, I popped in there for lunchtime thinking, okay, yeah, maybe I'll have a chance. And the guy's like, just looked at me like, yeah, what's up? What, what are you doing here? Sort of thing. I was like, yeah, you, is there a, the Monseki? Is it full? He's like, yeah, yeah, you got it. You have to be uh, introduced or um, you have a reservation, but uh, well, how do you get a reservation? Somebody has to bring you or introduce you. <laughs> how lame is that, man? But at least I got to go once. I went for dinner. It was really good. It's not cheap, but it's, uh, it was like, I think we each spent um, about ni ma yen, so 20,000 yen for a ton of amazing sushi and accompanying uh, sake and wine. They uh, recommended, they recommended a swill that goes with each piece of sushi. G-Wagon. We got a G550 in front of us. Flat black. I like it. They took their spare tire off the back. I usually they have a spare wheel. That's not what I want to do. Shoot. Okay, we want to get this guy behind me to make the same mistake. Okay, we're pulling into Azabu Jubon. Azabu Jubon. Yeah, ritzier neighborhoods. We're in Minato-ku, which is the, the ward that's kind of dead center in Tokyo and one of the most expensive uh, to live. Down to the left there is uh, an infamous love hotel. Uh, what's the name of it? The Alpha Inn. When this stream ends, look up Alpha Inn. It's a uh, it's a crazy love hotel. From what I hear, they have all kinds of each each room has a different theme, bondage and other crazy stuff. But it's been around for a very long time and it's, it's directly below, uh, there's like a, there's a hill that the American Club is on. Um, the American uh, Club is, is a, an exclusive club for Americans. Surprise, surprise. Um, and down below that cliff is where the Alpha Inn is. Look it up. Maybe you're intrigued enough to go give it a shot when you're in uh, Tokyo. Yes. Uh, Arch Japan Moto Vlog says headed to Rapongi. it seems. Well, actually, Rapongi's off to our left. We're heading to Ebisu. Rapongi's to the right, rather. Go to the right here. You go to Rapongi. Rapongi Hills is straight up that road to the right. We're going to go up, head through Azabu Juban, and then turn right and head towards uh, Hiro and into Ebisu. This is Azabu Juban right now, the main crossing. I go to donut places here in Azabuchibon called Dumbo Donuts. Really good, huge donuts. It's a 
some really funky flavors. It's just off to the right here. Check out Dumbo Donuts. Dear friends, Michiko, may she rest in peace. She uh, passed away maybe five years ago. Great people. Sawa uh, in the, the woods, beautiful area. Haruizawa is a, a popular kind of weekend get people in Tokyo and elsewhere. But uh, for uh, Kind of like a, it's kind of like an Aspen sort of feel. It's ritzy, very pricey real estate. But yeah, we went there skiing with them in that area. We both fell at a place in Yamanakako around Mount Fuji. Yeah. I miss my Michiko. This is a lot of fun. I'm going to turn right up here. On the right up here is uh, it's called the Sanno Hotel, and I'm not sure of the of the history of it, but it's exclusively for military um, service service American service members. Um, we'll be passing it up here. It looks like a really cool place. A friend of mine, Evan, was there. He he. Uh, posted some photo of him with his girlfriend and I know he's got nothing to do with the military so I'm not sure how he finagled getting into that to find out. This is a uh, the expressway we're just on is above us right now. This is the Shuto Shuto Ko Shuto Expressway. Yeah, Sano is up here. We're passing it shortly. armed guards, which you never see in Japan, ever. The guys at the entrance there are armed, they've got pistols. So they take it seriously. All right, up here on the right is, we're kind of on the, the tail end of Hiro right now. And we will be, uh, Ramsey's in the house. Hey, dude. Thanks for joining. Good chance to swing this. Hey, guys. Good to have you along. So we'll be looking for a parking space in Ebisu. What time is it actually? Yeah.
wonder if it's getting warm. The weather here in Tokyo, you can just, it's like flipping a switch from cool to smoking hot. Luckily the air is still pretty, has a nice little bite to it. So it's not, uh, not so humid yet. Meiji Dori. Dori means street. Meiji Street. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. He did it. Guys, we are just about at our destination of Ebisu. Light traffic at this time of day. And let's see if there's a space. Uh, doesn't look. Oh, there is one. Yay! Salary bot. More it, more it. All right, this could be challenging. Get one space, well, I'm gonna back in there, I think. Big bike. Welcome to Ebisu. Swing you around here. We made it. Good to have you along. Thanks always for joining. Hope you enjoy these urban rides. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel. There'll be more content coming and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like these kinds of rides. All right, guys, take care. Thank you to uh, Ramsey's Carrie, Jason, anybody else that was modding today. Always appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, we will talk to you all soon. Ciao for now.